Hello Ant Army, this is Ant Africa, and we're back with another video. So, this is my Miracara Natalantis colony. It is their newest setup. This is tubs and tubes setup. Um, as you can see, there's dirt there, so it, it optimizes their living, and... They have their test tube, so they have nesting space and outworld space, which means that they can both wander around, um, and in the outworld space, they, they, that's where they put their trash, so that I don't have to pick that up. Next to the feeding tray, which is that little uh, aluminium square, is a cricket, just so you know. And there, one. There is one. Um, so, that little yellow stuff on the side that's vaseline to help them climb out i mean what no to ensure that they don't climb out if you are planning on making a setup like this guys vaseline is the worst choice i highly recommend baby powder mixed with rubbing alcohol or fluon the baby powder and rubbing alcohol alternative is cheaper uh so that's my suggestion to you but you can go with Vaseline, it does not work well. But if you think that's the best, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is my Karabara Vidua queen, or was. She has passed away, guys. I'm sorry to announce. Um, this happens, we can't be too disappointed, because in the ant world, if they don't mate, they die. So... Yeah, it's, it's upsetting, but it's fine. Um, and we've still got the Mermakara and Atlantis. And this is my Tapanoma Queen. She's also passed away, guys. I'm very sorry for making you name her. Um, the official name results did turn out that Tapinia was the winner, but uh, she's deceased, so I'm, mm, that's too too many deaths on my hand, and I'm sorry guys, but there's no way of telling that a queen is fertile, so if she has mated or not, if she hasn't mated, they die, so, um, yeah. <laughs>